towards all sorts I get bored with force, I endorse any sources near But boards in these parts, yo, throw me some beers I'ma go with these odds, till I see stars Till I be me, large stream, three yards Think you see me acting like a retard Hey guys, welcome back to Bash Game with your host Chris um, Just doing a video today on a new motherboard that I've got in for a build that I'm doing today um, it's the ASRock Z77 Pro 4M because it's a micro ATX board. So we're just going to have a look at it today, see what it features, how it looks and all that kind of stuff. I'd call it an unboxing but I've already taken it out of the box so it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's not really an unboxing. But I'll show you the box anyway. Um, it comes with the usual features that all these ASRock motherboards come with. Um, so it's 555 XFast and all that kind of stuff. And it goes into detail on, on the back here. Um, what does it talk about? So apparently you can Photoshop faster because it takes better use of uh, your system RAM. Uh, apparently you get low latency gaming because it prioritizes uh, all your bandwidth. And apparently it can offer faster USB. Um, Lucid Virtual MVP comes with that as well. Um, Intel Smart Connect technology, Rapid Start technology, Internet Flash, DigiPower for stable power, um, four DIMMs that are rated at 2800. Uh, UEFI system browser, um, on and off play technology. So even when your system's off, it can power things in the yada yada. Um, it's won bunches of, uh, of awards. This is just for ASRock itself. So lots of awards from Tom's Hardware and Tweak Town and all that kind of stuff. So the regular stuff they'd normally put on the box to make it look good. Um, but it comes with basically everything that most of these boards normally do anyway. Um, so to look at the board itself, well, the stuff that it comes with, obviously it comes with the rear I.O. shield, you've got your, your user's guide there, your driver disc, and it comes with two uh, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second um, cables, and then it's just got some stuff on um, Virtual MVP, and some other things about XFast and all that kind of stuff, just to give you a bit more info on that. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll take you in closer to look at the motherboard. Okay, so here's just a closer look at the motherboard itself. Um, like I said, it's micro ATX, that's where you've got that square sort of shape. Um, so it's designed to fit into micro ATX cases and naturally the board's a lot smaller so you don't see as many um, PCIe lanes and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's Z77 chipset, so this, this motherboard's designed to... A, adopt uh, overclocking CPUs, uh, K-series and stuff. Um, not a heavy weight or anything, but still capable of it. Um, obviously, like I said before, it's got four DIMMs. They're rated for 2800, uh, which is way overkill. Um, and what have we got here? Let's have a closer look. So you've got a PWM fan header here. Uh, let's see how many there are. I saw another one. At some stage, yeah, there you go. So you've got another PWM header here, and you've got one, two, three, uh, three pin headers for fans. Um, you've got your USB 3 header here for the front panel, um, and one, two, three uh, USB 2 headers as well. Obviously, you've got your 24 pin ATX connection there, 8 pin CPU power, and naturally, you've got your, your socket there. Um, so you've got uh, you got your PCIe 3, 16 times lane, and you've got a 1 times lane, uh, looks like it might be 8 times, and another 4 times. Um, that's probably about it, all you could say about this, except for over here on the side, um, you've got 2 SATA 2 and 4 SATA 3. Uh, one would be obviously running off another chipset rather than the Intel one. Um, and then you've got another uh, two SATA 2 ports just here as well. You've got your, your HD audio for your front panel as well there. And then of course all your connect and connections and everything for your, your case. So we'll, we'll look at the rear I.O. now. Alright, so we've got a few things on the back here which isn't too bad for a, a micro ATX case. Um, so you've got two SATA 2 ports here. Uh, sorry, USB 2 rather. Uh, a PS2 port. Um, and then you've got your VGA, DVI, and HDMI, uh, just in case you're running uh, the onboard graphics or you're using uh, Virtual MVP. You've got another two USB 2 here, 
and then an eSATA. You've got your gigabit network, um, your USB 3, all your sound outputs, as well as an optical sound output there. So that's the board itself. Just thought I'd give you a, a look at it and uh, see what you reckon. Uh, I, I like these ASRock boards because they've got that neutral colour scheme, so it, it doesn't really interfere with anything else that you might have going in there, so you can do basically whatever colour combination that you like and it's not really going to be too bad. Um, it's not it's not a huge feature rich board, but again it's it's coming into the market at a well it is in the market as uh, not not an entry level pro uh, product, but I mean um, it's comparable to H77 standard ATX boards in price, so um, you do get quite a bit considering it's a Z77 board, um, but also just yeah factor in that it is uh, a micro ATX board, it's not standard ATX, so you are losing out on a little bit of the the things that you might otherwise put in, but not really a whole lot. I mean, most people will just use a graphics card and that's pretty much it, and you've still got your four dims, and of course you can overclock this thing if you do put a K-series uh, CPU in there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I can say about it. Thank you for watching, hopefully we'll have some more videos for you soon.